Do you want to create an iOS messaging application but do not know where to begin? In this tutorial, I cover everything you need to know to build a fully functional iPhone messaging application using the Stream iOS SDK. At the end of this tutorial, you will have a real-time messaging application which can be extended and customized to meet your use case. StreamChat iOS provides you all the features you need to build functional iOS messaging experiences. Before we begin, I want to give you a sneak peek of what you will walk away with after watching this video. The iOS app you would build in this tutorial has an offline support, so you can send messages, edit messages, and send reactions while offline. It supports link previews, so when you send a URL, it automatically converts into a clickable link. It also supports Jiffy commands. You can tap and hold a message bubble to send reactions. It supports attachments. So using the paper clip button, you can send attachments such as images and files. When you long press a message, you get other message options, including editing. Finally, it supports threads so you can start message threads to reply to any message. To learn more about the Swift SDK for chat messaging, you can check our website. I have hosted the completed project for this tutorial on GitHub, so you can get it from this repository and explore all the various features of the chat application we will build in this tutorial. After creating the chat app, you may want to modify and extend it. Luckily, we have excellent documentation for teaming and customization, so you can check our website under the Swift and UI components. On the sidebar, we have the section Teaming. So this tutorial focuses on how to create an iOS messaging application using storyboards in UIKit. You can get the Swift UI version of this tutorial from this video and this article. Let's open Xcode and create a new storyboard project. It is recommended to use Xcode 13, so I'm going to use the version 13.4.1. Let's click Create a new Xcode project. Under Application, we select App and Next. You can choose any name as the product name. For the interface, we will leave it as Storyboard and leave the language as Swift. Then we click Next. I will now select a location to save the document. Now we have a starter storyboard project in Xcode. What we need to do next is to fetch the SDK from GitHub. We can do this using CocoaPods, but to make things easier, we are going to use Swift Package Manager. To fetch the SDK, I will go back to our website. So I will click iOS Chat Tutorial. In this tutorial, we have the direct link to the SDK. That is this one. I will control click and select copy link address. Then go back to the Xcode project. To add the iOS SDK to this project, we go to file, add packages. In the search bar, I will paste the link. For the dependency rule, we leave it as up to next major version then click Add Package, then wait for some time. We now need to choose the package product for the StreamChat Swift. Let's select StreamChat and StreamChat UI and click Add Package. Now that we have added the iOS SDK to the storyboard project in Xcode, let's take a few minutes to explore how Xcode organizes the files. Let's take a look at the app delegate that is the root object of the app. UIKit creates the app delegate early in the app's launch cycle, so it is always present. It handles the following tasks. The first one is the initialization of the app's central data structures. It manages scene configurations of the app. It is also responsible for responding to notifications originating from outside the app such as low memory warnings and download completion notifications. We will modify this file later, so let's move on to the scene delegate. So what is a scene delegate? 
When the app launches, we need to find a way to manage life cycle events occurring within the app. And this is done using the scene delegate. To handle these events, we need to define a method in the body of the scene delegate file. We will also come to this file later. So let's move on to the view controller. This is responsible for managing the app's interface, user interactions, and navigation. The content of the view controller fills the main window of the app. Under the package dependencies, we have different folders. Difference provides a better way to identify what is the difference between two instances. This is the official iOS SDK for stream chat. Then we have test helpers used by stream iOS SDK for testing purposes. Swifter is a tiny HTTP server engine. It is written in Swift. Let's jump back to the app delegate and modify the file. On top of the code, we need to do two things. First, import stream chat. Secondly, we should extend the chat client functionality. In the body of our extension, we add an optional chat client variable. So this is all we need to do in the app delegate. Let's move on to the view controller. In the view controller, we should import stream chat and stream chat UI. To display the channel list screen of the app, we should modify the app's view controller to conform to the SDK's channel list view controller. So let's remove this and change the name to demo channel list. Our demo channel list conforms to the SDK's channel list view controller. And this is all we need to do in the view controller. We import stream chat and stream chat UI and modify the view controller to conform to the SDK's channel list view controller. Let's now set up the SDK using the scene delegate file. All we need to do in this file is to modify the core method scene. To do this, we are going to use a sample code from our website. In this tutorial, I will scroll down. We have the same sample code for the scene delegate. So I will click this button to copy the sample code. Then I will go back to the Xcode project. Let's replace the whole of this function with the sample code. We get all these errors because we need to import stream chat. Let's go through the sample code we pasted for the scene method. To set up the SDK, we need an API key. In this tutorial, we will use an API key that points to Stream's tutorial environment. When building a real chat application using Stream, you will need your own API key. You can check our website and sign up for a free chat trial account to get your own API key. First, we define the constant config that holds the API key. Then we create an instance of the chat client. The next is the user authentication. So we create and connect to a user with this method using a pre-generated token. In a real world application, your authentication backend would generate such token at the login or sign up stage. You can check our website for more information about tokens and user authentication. Next, we use the channel list component to initialize the channel list controller with a query. The final step is to set the channel list as the root of a new UI view controller and also make it the root of our window. And with this, we are done. So let's run the app to see what we have done so far. Congratulations, you have now created a fully functional iPhone chat messaging application that supports offline mode. So you can send, receive messages, edit messages, and send reactions while offline. It supports link previews. So when we send a URL, it will automatically generate a clickable link. There is also support for Jiffy commands.
You can send attachments such as files and images. By tapping and holding your own message, you have the option to edit the message and other options such as reply and thread reply. So this is all we have in this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.